Uh, okay, so my question is, when Supernatural ends... Whoa, whoa!
So they cut to 20 years from now, and a show comes around, or a movie comes around, where they need to go find the old guys in the woods. Who are who've been, you know, think of like uh, the movie Shooter, right? How like Wahlberg was all up into the woods and like, you know, excommunicating and when, when it was, when, when it hit the fan, they found the guys to come and help them out. I don't know, it kind of keeps it alive, it keeps the mystery alive. It's, it keeps the are so much smarter than I am they would come up with something so interesting but for some reason if the show was to end I would love for it to end with just like Sam and Dean sitting across from a table from each other and just being brothers eating a meal drinking a beer I just would love to see that for my heart yeah but that doesn't go along with the theme of the show which is to finish on a cliffhanger that never that ever never ends that's right that's right I, sorry, so I know this is the wrong thing to say, but just what you said, Brianna, at the table, but they're in heaven. Sorry, I know oh, that's dark. Oh, you're going to get it now, Ruthie. Oh, God. <laughs> you asked. But, but they're happy. But they're happy in heaven. There's they, peace because they they're just, and, they saved, and they saved the world. It was because they saved the world. They finally, they, they've... And Rowena's there. Yeah. Rowena. And heaven, there. And heaven looks a bit like a dungeon. Yeah, Sam and Dean are trapped in an elevator. And, and there's, there's golden showers. Kevin's of, above of like over. sunshine. Sun no, no, no. Golden no, sunshine. There's only one thing that golden showers are of, Ruth. Only one thing. Golden sunshine. I'm in denial. In heaven, I'm in denial. And uh, yeah, we're all there. We're all there. I'm there too. You're there. <laughs> we're all we're all trussed up in the dungeon. <laughs> in heaven, the heavenly dungeon. Yeah. How how would that feel though if the family business goes out of business? They're like, oh, clients are done. Everything's complete. The world is boring again. Jody and Donna takes over. Oh, Jody and Donna takes over the family business. <laughs> nope. It's, it's it's called. Uh -huh. Boys get to retire. No. I'm not okay with this spin-off the ending of Supernatural. I'm not okay with that. Never ending. Although it would be ironic if it actually ended with the two boys in the Impala halfway over a cliff. Oh. And it's not actually a cliffhanger. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like Thelma and Louise. And then it ends. Exactly. Oh, no, 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 no
kind of cliffhanger. No, I got that, but also like Thelma and Louise. Just Jared has like a scarf over his hair. <laughs> Just lets it go as they hold hands. <laughs> I like that. Come on, that's genius. I love and if you it. wanted to complete that story, you'll have Dean put Baby in reverse, and he's like, "You can, you can do this." And he's, he's, he saves Baby, and then he goes down the cliff. Oh, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna oh. let there be any ending. Oh no, no ending. Like it's truly a cliffhanger. Oh, just, just the hanging. You don't know if they're gonna die, if they're gonna live. And you let see, everyone have their see, own ending. Ca yeah. Cas okay. Castiel's got his wings back, and he's just maybe flying in. Oh. So we think that this is the end, and then we see Flutter of Wings, and, that's, and then we end there. We'll Fade to black. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And let everyone finish the story This, for this is why we don't write this show. <laughs> Flutter of Wings, Golden Rays. Of... Golden Rays. <laughs> Thank you for your question. Thank you. Hi. So I definitely don't want to end, but my question is, once that terrible, terrible day does come, what kind of... Whoa, whoa! <laughs> if, 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 if it comes. Stay safe with if. <laughs> what kind of projects or roles would you guys like to work on? Retirement. <laughs> Not kidding. Um, the role of father and husband. <laughs> Son, my brother, my friend. And then Batman. Would you guys look back and say, like, yeah, these years on Supernatural were the best years of my life? Or would you guys feel really proud of what you were able to accomplish with just a simple show? I mean, I hope it's not the best years of my life. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it's certainly a highlight. A lot, yeah. I mean, these uh, agreed. I hope it's not the best years of my life. Um, if this is, if this is the, um, how do I put this? If this show and this family defines my career, I, I, I won't be happy. I couldn't be happy with um, So that having been said, a lot has obviously happened. I met my wife on the show. I became a father on the show. My husband, um, my kids in kindergarten. Um, so a lot has happened that's brought me a lot of joy. And I, Obviously, I hope the family carries on and keeps spreading love, acceptance, and um, awareness uh, beyond the final episodes of Granville, um, which I know people don't like to hear you say. Um, but uh, I love a great book, but I'm excited to finish it. Does that make any sense? No. <laughs> what? Yeah, thank you. Did you? <laughs> I'll go straight ahead. Well, if it's a great book, don't you normally finish? I'm saying, like, I love, there's a, there's a funny, like, juxtaposition when you finish a great book where you're like, oh my god, that was amazing, oh my god, I wish it was still going. So, I'll be excited to finish this book. I hope you care. Um, this is a question my friend Jeff asked me, and I'm 
my sister Chelsea had for you. Okay. Um, you've played a lot of iterations of Cass. You've been Cuban Cass, and you've been loose for a little while, God and crazy. What was your favorite <laughs> version of Cass you played? Um. <laughs> Remarkable, um, it's a palette for a single character, isn't it? To be both God and crazy and Lucifer and all of it. It's a lot. I do say so much time. <laughs> but I would say that nearest and dearest to my heart, I mean, I did have a lot of fun playing Lucifer, but I, I have a, a special affinity for just cast. You know, just. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. It's such a cool thing um, to be able to play a char character for so long that uh, that that you s totally cease to intellectualize it. It's and this is, I know this is the case for for uh, Jared and Jensen too when they step into the uh, clothing of Sam and Dean. They're just we're all just. Um, instantly that character, you know, and our body language and our voice and our the cadence of speech and mannerisms, they're all um, automatic because we it's it's not that we know the character, it's that we have in some respect become the character. Um, and it's I, it's kind of an indescribable thing, but um, but it's very cool. And so so for that reason I think that the characters become very close to our hearts. We had a conversation um, with uh, with a you know, reporter for uh, this special edition that I think is out right now of Entertainment Weekly. Uh, sorry, not CW, Entertainment Weekly. Um, uh, and we were talking about that experience. And Jensen talked about the, this dream that he had had about the death of Sam. And as Jensen was talking about the death of Sam. Started to tear up, and 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 we all, all three of us, were sort of swept up by the emotion of thinking about the death of this fictitious character, whom we've all gotten to know so well that the thought of him dying makes us want to cry, um, because it feels like that's a real person now. Um, it's kind of remarkable, and I'm, I'm sure that there's there's some aspect of that that's also true for the audience. Yeah. You know, especially people, especially people who've been watching the show for a long time. I mean, it's one thing to sort of binge watch as somebody in my meet and greet was saying they had done in 11 days. By the way, I don't think that's physically possible. But <laughs> but it's another to have grown up with these characters, to have known them for more than a decade, or for, you know, all of your childhood, or, I mean, they're, they're, I, I just met somebody the other day who was a young professional who had been watching the show since she was 11 years old. I was like, oh that's like so many formative years that you have been alongside these characters and you've watched them go from being like these fit, virile, <laughs> you know, to, to who we are now. And watching that amazing transformation, that that decay, um, <laughs> you start to feel close to them. And they start to feel like family, and you feel like you know them. Um, so it's it's a very special um, it's a special relationship that I think we all have with these characters that can only come to pass when you when you've been on the show, when you've been on the air for thirteen years. I'm the new kid, it's a decade for me. You know? It's crazy.
That's not what you asked. <laughs> Perfect answer. Didn't stop me. Thank you. Um, one of the things I find really hard about the big summer break is that Sam and Dean are kind of like mates we hang out with every week, and it's like we don't get to see them for ages, and we're wondering what's going on with them. Do you miss Sam when you're on your break, or are you just glad to get away for a while? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That is a great question. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I do. I do. Like, that's one of the reasons why I keep saying yes to the show. Uh, I love Sam. He's not Jared. But I, I, I know him, you know? Like, I know him as much as you guys do. Uh, even more in some ways, I suppose. Less in some ways. I think y'all know Sam more than I do, because you see his actions. Uh, but I know Sam for his um, motivations and his heart. Uh, I'm like, this is... <laughs> um, yeah. I miss that guy. And when the show ends, it's going to be really tough. Because he's going to be done, you know? What a sad... No. <laughs> so are you looking forward to seeing him again when you start filming? Yeah, and, and also we've talked about like uh, movies or uh, shortened seasons. Um, six episode. <laughs> 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 uh, but I, I will never say... I will never keep Sam alive just to keep him alive. Um, if somebody's not committed to him and his character, um, writing-wise, then I, 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 I'd rather he uh, live in our memories, you know? Um, but yeah, I miss that fucker. All right, love you. Thank you, guys.